Hello everybody within the Sound by Voice. This is Michael James Larkin. I am President and CEO of Local Partnership Joint Market Solutions. That's our logo up there and we are part of the Local Internet Marketing Association, Lima. That's our that's me up there. Um, I'm a public speaker. Uh, we do fulfillment as well as consultation for internet marketing. We do reputation management. Uh, we also do well, mobile, We're doing some interesting things, things with Wi-Fi. Those are a number of my titles there. Got two of them on Amazon Kindle. And like I said, this is a billion dollar presentation. We're going to be uh, focusing in on the uh, the car industry and car dealerships in D.C. and beyond. Uh, so let me ask you a question just to start this off with. We're, would would you buy a product or service that has bad ratings and bad reviews? Well, a study came out, uh, and it was in the Economic Journal, where the folks at Yelp uh, were quoted. And they said that, that with a half a star increase on your review ratings that you see when you punch in your company name in Google that 19% more profitability could come of it. Like I say, welcome to our online marketing training. This is going to be for the car industry. Again, my name is Michael James Larkin. I am president and CEO of LPJM Solutions. I need to do a couple of things before we get started here because we've got a lot of information and we've got to give it to you as quickly as possible. Um, and then for questions afterwards, uh, by all means, get in touch uh, with us. Um, that's our um, reputation marketing um, report, and it's free for right now for the car folks. Um, go to that website, punch in your main telephone number, and you'll immediately get your own reputation report. And from there, we talk to you uh, more about how to go. So there's a couple words of caution. All right, so this webinar can change the course of your business, how it can even change the course of your life, okay? Um, uh, let me let me give you a quick example. Um, through, through our system, we were able to uh, do this exact same webinar. Uh, we were able to put it up on YouTube and then through a couple of different tactics that we use. Um, you can go there right now. You can go to Reputation Marketing DC car dealers or car dealerships and we're right there this exact same uh, presentation is right there okay right at the top of Google um, so this is life-changing stuff okay we did that in a matter of hours all right but we'll we'll get to all that but there's three things that need to happen all right you need to make a commitment to learn learn what we're showing you here um, keep in mind keep an open mind about what you're shown okay and then take action on what you learn a couple more cautions like I say this stuff is extremely powerful okay so <laughs> um, it does get very exciting so you want to take good notes you want to stay to the very very end uh, there is a special um, that we're offering I mean talk about limited we're only offering one um, we, we might boost it up to more, but uh, there's there's something that is incredible. Just wait to the very, very end. Um, ask questions if you don't understand. We'll give you ways to contact either myself or folks that, that are in the know. Um, don't half-ass this. You know, if, if don't get halfway through, you know, one of our strategies and go, oh, this don't work. <laughs> okay? Pay attention to what's going on. Um, ranking fast can be really, really addictive. Okay, and let me ask you this. Have you ever wanted a foolproof strategy for making a real income on the internet? Of course you have. All right, have you been looking for something that even a newbie or someone without much experience, okay, can do and be successful with? Look, if you're one of those folks that's uh, looking for something that, here, press a button here and money will fall, um, hop on this little unicorn I provided for you and just right away <laughs> okay this isn't that all right so who hates CEO all right <laughs> that's kind of funny cause sometimes we hate it too it's gets way too technical the information gets outdated 
you don't know who to listen to, even when you're talking to Google folks. Um, you know, Panda and Hummingbird and, you know, what's what's next? Wiley e. Coyote and the Roadrunner. All right. This stuff is time consuming. It's constantly changing. It's a lot of work. But what can you expect? What kind of results? Okay, many times we're able to rank our posts and, and properties and videos and all kinds of different things and rank them on the first page of Google in less than 24 hours. And yeah, sometimes in as little as five minutes, we've got that uh, kind of video proof for you or for anyone else that wants to look at it. All right. Have they been able to find you? Okay. The, the way you rank on search engines is you do it organically or you have to go out and buy the pay-per-click okay to, to be in front of the customers eyeballs in the search engines and you can rank with your site you can rank with uh, press release news um, social media parasite sites videos all kinds of options there leveraging your assets um, using the PR like press releases you can rank your site in other words link it to your your website and pull it up higher okay in fact you can also dominate several positions on the search engines um, so that you know if you do it right you can you can dominate pages okay um, you don't believe me that's fine <laughs> um, go to Google and then come on back or you can go to Google while you're still watching this and put in um, reputation marketing DC okay um, as of today it was on eight different um, positions on page one number one two three four all the way down it was on eight of the ten on Google um, you went you want to create content rich news release kind of stuff it, it can't be just fluff or an offer or something it has to be newsworthy but if you can do that um, and with our help we, you can add multifaceted content to one page for instance um, embedding a video or embedding a banner ad or embedding a, a picture and so that that way on page one of Google you have multi spots that are being taken up so you receive benefits in multiple results in the search stop okay around here we do first things first okay so we've had many people come through our way and say you know well why don't you guys do all the other stuff that you do and why do you only focus on reputation marketing first well we like to put the cart before the uh, the heart the the horse before the cart not the cart before the horse what I mean by that is if someone comes across your dealership and they find anything less than a five-star reputation then that potential customer is gonna go shop around to find your competition in even if you're number one page one on Google and the reason is is they have the five-star reviews so what we're seeing on online now is for car dealerships you only have about three some of you have four but if you don't have a five-star reputation inside those reviews there are negative reviews and those have gotten outside your your control so that's what we do we focus on reputation marketing first so let me go back to that original question would you buy a product or service that has bad ratings and bad reviews and again we're gonna go back to this 19 percent number Yelp said this. We didn't say it. Um, so the economists at University of California, Berkeley, they were working with the folks at Yelp, and they got this in the Economic Journal that the reputation uh, marketing has proven to increase by 19% with a half-star increase rating online. Okay. There we are again. Local Partnership Joint Market Solutions. Those are a number of our uh, titles. Um, with the car industry we're also working with the hotel industry up there we have one from the um, real estate industry just the specifics about what's going on in those industries and what makes them different and using the language that you use I uh, want to specialize in in a few um, of, uh, of the most important markets and uh, so anyway we've been around since 1998 we did say before that we were consultants first 
And what we found was our clients were taking our cons consultation, they'd go out and try and fulfill what we were consulting them on, and found that the companies that uh, they went with weren't able to fill or over-promising and under-delivering or uh, slow on results, all kinds of stuff, and kind of went, what the heck? And so we got into f the fulfillment business as well. So if you recognize any of these guys, good for you. Simply put, they're the world's greatest internet marketing team ever assembled. Okay, so I might get to know, um, you, know you might get to know these guys too. Um, but that's, I mean, if you sh if that should happen to you, uh, it would be a very good thing for you too. <laughs> Sorry, just rhyming a little bit. Um, but, uh, these fellas here, two of them are experts, uh, in the car industry. In fact, the background is the car industry. So, um, these guys are always here to help us. Um, they're never against us. So if you have really intricate kind of deep down questions, um, that I wouldn't understand or, or that I wouldn't be able to answer. We've got a team of folks that are really, really able to, um, to answer those things for you. All right. With that, we're going to talk about the six step conversion formula. Um, these, these questions here, um, sometimes people don't, don't like them. Um, which I say too bad because it lets me as an executive with this company know that you're serious about your company and we can move forward. Um, if you're not in, you know, serious about your reputation, then what are you serious about as far as your business goes? So usually I, I just kind of confirm these. Are you positioning yourself as a market leader? You know, what are you doing for marketing? Are you, are you doing flyers? Are you doing postcards? Are you doing uh, business uh, you know, emails? Are you doing TV ads, radio ads? I see the TV ads. I see the radio ads. Okay, so what makes you guys different from everyone else? Um, <laughs> the guys down south, are, they do some stuff with like, um, they'll bring on a uh, a manicurist and a pedicurist from their local area. And on like Tuesday nights, they'll have a ladies' night where while they bring in their vehicle to get an oil change, they can get a pedicure and manicure. All right, just something different. So what are you doing that's different than everyone else? Uh, reputation marketing and stats. We will go over the statistics, the numbers and all that very quickly and very soon. Um, do you know what your customers are saying online? Okay, you can find out. And I don't really do business with anybody who doesn't bother to find out. And that's that uh, the website address you see on the bottom of many of these uh, many of these slides. So we'll show you the reputation uh, that's online. We'll go over everything that's on there with you. Uh, if it looks like a good match, we click. We can do some great bit, great things together. So the you know, bottom line question is: Do you want to dominate your competition? Curbside appeal, digital curbside appeal. All right. When was the last time you called uh, the number of an ugly business website? <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know how we're going to be looked at, but we consider ourselves the nice looking home and property and landscaping. Um, we are the best of the best. And I don't mean to be egotistical about that, but when we give you information, when we give you suggestions, when we give you ideas, um, it's not from the fact that we haven't done them ourselves and it hasn't worked for ourselves. It works. Um, so it's not eerie theory, um, airy fairy stuff. It's actually stuff that actually has worked. Um, so what's the pitch? Uh, we do mobile, you know, SMS, that kind of stuff, website stuff. Uh, SMS is really cool. They have uh, a thing where you can... Uh, you know, as soon as someone gets an oil change, you get their cell phone number, you're able to program it to have their cell phone number be alerted three months from then. Hey, it's time to get another oil change, and it's right into their phone. Pretty cool stuff. Um, purchasing, you know, how to purchase different things from the website, that type of stuff. Uh, social. Social is the little fella that sits in the basement with, at his grandmother's house, and when someone pops a message on uh, their Facebook site, they, you know, hey, I like Fords. And they point back, yeah, we have words. Would you like to buy one? You know, that kind of thing. I don't know if that's good for you and that works fantastic. But 
uh, we go a little bit more beyond that. You'll see that uh, search results. Um, search results, like I say, we could take just about any, um, depending on the on the tr the the competition for the keyword. But take the keyword and put that as the title of a video, and then put the uh, the details in the video with the keyword in it, and so on and so forth. And a couple of other things we do, and bam. And within minutes, we're right at the top of Google on page one, and the video is on page one. Uh, reputation management it says down there that's management's a bunch of crap. Um, a management again is the kid um, that sits in the basement and just answers emails. Let me ask you this: Do you make money managing? Okay, you usually have to pay someone to manage your business. No, you you make money marketing. And we're going to show you the difference between reputation marketing and reputation um, management, how they're worlds apart. Uh, this is what we do. Okay, if you're going to pay attention to reputation marketing, find someone that does all this or more and doesn't lie and say they do all this and more. This is what we do. Uh, we personally train all your staff on reputation develop your strategy to get reviews for customers or from customers uh, we build your five-star reputation every day uh, we monitor the top view, review sites each day uh, we send you detailed alerts whether it's a good or bad review we send it to you um, every two weeks we create a review report uh, we immediately respond to bad reviews and good reviews uh, we post reviews to your website blog other sites that you might have uh, we do a, uh, a daily posting of your five-star reviews to Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. Uh, I heard Pinterest is coming on board soon. Um, we create review images. These things are really great looking. Um, to to we post them to Flickr. We post them to Facebook, other other uh, photo sharing sites. And uh, like I say, those things are dynamite looking. Um, so we professionally we have professionally designed for you f and for each of your locations it's a two thousand dollar reputation media center so you'll never be without having this information in front of your customers and go from there all right now here's the big question just to ponder if you were to hire someone that knew all this, knew how to do this, knew how to work all this, and could start immediately, what would it cost you per month? Again, I refer back down to this email address, or the website. Make sure that you visit that before this is over or after this is over. After reputation marketing, we get somebody up to five stars uh, reputation, so their business, as far as that goes, is on the up. Um, this is what we do for every client. We analyze the market online and for what people search for the most. We optimize the site for those specific keywords. We want to improve the conversion rate of the site. Um, local searches, Google, Yahoo, MSN, all of them. Local directories, uh, Yellow Pages, Hot Frog, um, TripAdvisor, all those, um, all those type of sites. Yelp is another one. Uh, getting related links back to your website, getting ranked for those keywords. We use video, we use articles, press releases. In fact, we can embed the video in the press release and get ranked there. Uh, Web 2.0, going to use your blogs, show you classifieds. Um, we're going to track the web statistics. When we get to this phase, it's about a monthly reporting type of thing. Um, and that helps out. I mean, it's be harping on it every day. You just watch the growth and focus on your business. There I am again. Okay, car dealer advertising budgets. Um, on average, spend about two hundred fifty dollars to four hundred dollars per vehicle when it comes to marketing. Um, a store that usually sells about a hundred units will will spend about twenty five k to four forty k per month. Okay, um, the larger stores um, where you have a number of um, rooftops together, um, they sell about two hundred fifty to four hundred units per month, and they're spending about a hundred k to one hundred sixty k per month on marketing. Uh, those mega stores near the mall, they sell about six hundred to a thousand units per month. They're spending about two hundred forty to four hundred k per month. 
uh, of all these numbers, um, and this is coming from the NADA, which is the National, National Auto Dealers Association, uh, they have kind of put it into a big old pie and said that 26% of all those budgets are spent on digital. So that's what we want to talk to you about when it comes to reputation marketing. Uh, what is local? What is the local marketing worth? The average front end PVR for a car is about seventeen hundred, and most people that I talk to, it's about two thousand when you when you factor in the used cars, because um, those are higher PVR. Um, but your average back end, which keeps the lights on and keeps everybody paid and happy and all that, about four hundred dollars a turn. So for the larger stores, you're looking per month to get about 400 units um, and 800 turns per month. So with that, it's about a million dollars per month that, that this particular example is talking about. Uh, for independents, the smaller lots, um, you know, this would like the specifically just the used car dealers. Um, got one of our associates, Brian. And he was a single, lo it was just one rooftop, one location in Northern Virginia. And the services he offered were for search only to try and get him to the top of the search engines for five different terms. Um, just medium competition. And his setup fee was $1,500. And from that one small little independent, it's $2,500 a month. So they're getting great results there to be spending that much money per month. Um, here's another example with a Dodge dealership out in West Virginia. Small little area, about 30,000 people. There's two rooftops out there. And they went with reputation management, not marketing. Um, they have also SEO and mobile. Uh, originally, they were talking about doing a 10K per month program. Uh, but they, uh, they finally signed a contract for 5K per month. Um, and again, this isn't one that focuses on reputation marketing, but that's fine. It just gives you the idea. Here's, a, here's another one. Um, yeah, this is John C. up in Connecticut. Um, there was a 10 rooftop deal. Okay. And so what they did was a $31,000 upfront fee to set everything up. And then about 14000 per you know per month afterwards, keeping the uptake and keeping it cyclical, keeping it all moving. Um, there's a lot of one thousand to three thousand dollar a month deals, and that, that's fine. But that was, that's just kind of tire kicking kind of stuff. Um, we we want to get into some meat. We want to be able to really, really take a, a piece of this market. Um, mobile search is critical. Okay, um, mobile auto search has seen a four hundred and sixty three percent increase over year that uh, year over year. That's fifteen times greater. Than the online auto search is garnering right now from you know, laptops and, and or, or um, uh, PCs and all that. Mobile's where it's at. Okay, those are a couple of the sources we used for this information. Uh, simple math. Okay, for us, it's just it's more valuable for us and it's more beneficial and more rewarding for us to work with car dealerships um, than it is to work with a florist. And there's nothing against florists, um, but as you can see, the numbers there, uh, a $50, $50 bouquet of flowers is a heck of a lot less profit and profitable than a car. So you can take a look at it here. Uh, if I have 10, 10 florist clients at 450 per month, the gross billing is about mm, 4500 Okay, Expenses is about 900 to to 1000 somewhere on there, and $3,600. Okay, we're we're a bigger business than that. We're more aggressive than that, and our talents can lend us and lead us more to more um, to more profits. So look for the auto dealer industry for a car dealership between three thousand five thousand dollars. It depends, you know, um, and and the services and such. Uh, but with ten clients there at three thousand a month, the gross billing is thirty thousand, and the expenses are six thousand. Again, this is just an example, but it shows. Um, you know, that we're going after a, um, a, a you know a bigger uh, a bigger piece of a pie that we want to give you a bigger piece of um, bundling 
I I believe in bundling, but I don't believe in it until you've done one thing first. And reputation marketing is what we do first. And it tells us a lot about your company. Uh, you'll get to know our company. We take uh, reputation marketing very seriously. Um, there's one of my titles that hasn't come out yet. Um, I'm trying to see if I can put that one on Amazon Kindle as well. Um, so there I am again. Um, wow, I plugged myself a lot in here. That's all right. Uh, local Partnership Joint Market Solutions. I am the founder. Uh, we do public speaking. We do the fulfillment part. Uh, we don't just talk about, hey, the different things you could do. We actually have different programs where we actually do it. Um, there's nothing that we have done or do we offer to the general buying public uh, until we've tried it ourselves and we know that it works ourselves. And we can give you live online examples of what we have our hands on and what we've actually done for the same programs that we're presenting to you. It's just a... Uh, no, if it doesn't work for us, why should it work for you, right? Uh, just going to run through quickly what the NADA data source for 2012. Um, the number one buying motivation is the relationship between the sales representative and the prospective customer. This is far and away the top influencer cited by 72% of companies surveyed. Uh, that serves a strong reminder that repeat sales are built on strong relationships between your salespeople and your customers. The number two buying motivation demonstrated success in similar engagements. This motivation came in second at 32%. It underscores the importance of showing that you have previously solved problems that are similar to those that customers are facing. Kind of like walk a mile in my shoes. Number three is price. Number three is price. Interesting, right? Um, it was cited at th by 30% of the respondents. Its third place finish shows that although price is a critical consideration in B2B buying, customers would be more motivated by the other considerations spelled out above. The relationship and the, and the ability to, um, to relate. Okay. Number four, reputation of our company. This factor was cited by 22% of respondents. One of the best ways to build your reputation is to include customer testimonials on your website, sales materials, and Facebook page. Let me let that sink in for a second. That's from the National Auto Dealers Association. Number five, buying motivation, technical superiority of our products. It's cited by 12% of respondents. This statistic, uh, this statistic underscores the importance of having your salespeople explain your products and services uh, that have a distinct advantage over the competition, over what the competition is selling, type of thing. Um, so we'll go back to the number one buying motivation is the relationship between the sales representative and the prospective customer. This is far and away the top influencer cited by 72% uh, of the companies surveyed. Okay. Automotive and, me and social media. Social media is critical to long-term success of retail auto stores. Okay, the core sites, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest. Secondary ones, like those parasite sites that people are now asking about, those would be like sites like Squidoo, Flickr, bookmarking sites like Dig. Okay, look at all the little logos floating around the car. Woohoo! Facebook simplified. This is what NADA suggests. Uh, this is your most important social site, and your clients will watch what happens here. Three of the four posts on your... So it's saying to fo focus on three to four posts on Facebook per week. Then they said, I've tried it daily, but it's overkill. Promoted posts one time per week. <clears throat> uh, that they, they typically spend 5 to $10, depending on the size of the fan base. Um, Facebook ads. So you can split test ads with different color schemes and things. Um, it says we invest one hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars per month per dealer. Okay, so I'm not sure what exactly what that means in regards to to Facebook, but um, again, that's from the NADA. Maybe that's a program that they have uh, ongoing. But again, that's reputation management. Uh, visual search results. Okay, highlight the competition here. So in this example, they put in uh, Toyota 
Fort Lauderdale. And there are two. Uh, well, it looks like another one snuck in there and became number three. But there's only two in Fort Lauderdale. So how did number three get in there? Okay. Someone's savvy. On the map, it shows two. Um, and basically for the search Toyota, it, you know, Lipton's number one, Maroon's number two, Hendrickson is number three. Um, you know, if you're on if you're on Google Places and if you're on Google Plus and if you're on Google Maps, my advice get every piece of, of information that you possibly can give them, give them. Um, and it's all it's really just location information. Um, but Google is the king. You gotta just follow Google. Whether you like them or not, whatever you've heard about them, they're the king. Um, auto shoppers are mobile. Okay? If you haven't got on board with this yet, shame on you. <laughs> um, you can ask us about it, but um, the bottom line is you're missing the boat big time. Automotive mobile opportunity. Uh, dealerships and independents are perfect for mobile, mobile websites, mobile apps, SMS marketing, I talked about that before, appointment reminders, QR codes, um, where you're able to scan that little box and then boom, up pops up a website on your phone, like that. I don't even know what the heck that one is, <laughs> if it goes to us or something else. Um, you guys might have got a postcard that looks like this, um, and, and I'll show you what you can do in the uh, in the media center for yourself, but... This is uh, this one that I like to use. Warning bad reviews on Google and Yelp are poisoning your business. Details on how to stop the bleeding. And then on the back, it's just, Dear business owner, I found your business listing on Google Places and Yelp. Congratulations on even being listed there. Um, you know, 90%, you, you, are you aware that 90% of the bad reviews are killing your business? So if you want to stop the bleeding, call your local marketing doctor. That's me. All right. So that kind of gives you an example there. Welcome to our reputation marketing training. <laughs> okay, it's the most important way you can market your business. I don't know if I can convince you of that or make you believe that or what have you. I shouldn't have to. If we're on the same mindset, we're going to get along great. Let's go back to this question. Um, would you buy a product or service that has bad ratings and bad reviews? Take a look at your lot and take a look at some of the guys and gals that are working on, you know, do they all have cell phones? Do any of them look up uh, the local restaurants to find out where they're going to go to lunch? Do they look up a steakhouse and find out which one has the best, uh, the best steak before you guys go out to dinner? Yeah. Well, that same thing is being done with you guys. No one walks on your lot unless they've also done some checking up on your website and such. In fact, it's 91% of people that walk on your lot have already done their little bit of uh, research on your dealership, and they've done it online. Okay, reputation is everything. Okay. The online marketing game has just changed, and your competition doesn't even know about it yet. Here's one. Any company name, okay, plus the city, will reveal the company's reputation. So here's a fella here that does cosmetic dentistry, Dr. Douglas J. Alterman. So someone punches in the name there in Google, and what do they come up with? Well, Douglas is there, uh, but look at his score. His score, right, and, and he should be. He should be number one, page one on Google. But look at his uh, his score. 15 out of 30 with 10 reviews. Well, 15 out of 30. That means there's five bad reviews there. So if I'm looking for a cosmetic dentist and I came across this, I'm going to be shopping around for another cosmetic dentist. That's someone who needs to focus on their five-star reputation. Uh, game changer number two, customer reviews are a major factor in almost every type of online marketing. Okay, it's it's everywhere. Bad reviews are showing up on Google Maps, uh, Google Plus. They're showing up on pay-per-click. They're showing up on website rankings. They're showing up on organics rankings. They're showing up on local directories. Okay, it's something that you need to pay attention to. Um, game changer number three, SEO. As I mentioned before, if you're on page one uh, on Google, number one on Google, and you've got a bad reputation, and again, SEO doesn't work. There you go. 
uh, social media. Okay, what are you doing actively on social media that works? Uh, Pay per click, local marketing. All right. If you have a, if you have a bad review online, you have a five star reputation. It's going to knock down the five star reputation. One bad review. So we need to create a consistent five star reputation. Step two would be to market those products and services. Think about it. So I mean, someone could be having a bad day and they can't wait to get on their cell phone and write down that you guys are overpriced, or that someone made them feel rushed, or that someone was unfriendly, or that someone had bad, poor customer service. Uh, lots of different scenarios you can think of there. Uh, you walk into a clothing store, and the high school kid comes up to you and says, "Can I help you with anything, sir?" And I say, "No," and so he walks off. And I go and I start looking around I'm like, ooh, look at this. This is a nice leather jacket. This is cool. And I'm looking around to try and see if I can find someone to help me with it with the size and the price and such. And I can't find anybody. And lo and behold, when I finally do find someone, it's the same kid and he's talking to one of his buddies and they're laughing over in the corner. <laughs> well, you know, I can't wait to get out of there and write down a poor customer service. <laughs> I don't, but you can see that scenario, that example happening every single day. Game changer number four. Review sends you pre-qualified, pre-sold customers because buyers trust reviews as much as personal recommendations. Okay, 72% of buyers trust reviews as much as personal recommendations. Okay, that's from brightlocal.com. Here's, here it is, okay? 92% of recommenda- are, are buyers rec- are, are trust recommendations from people they know. Uh, whereas at 70, 72, some reports are saying customers uh, will buy, make a buying decision on opinions posted online. And then look at the ones underneath. You know, news, editorials from newspaper articles, branded websites, emails, TV ads, text uh, on their mobile phones are trusted even less. So here's the here's the basic message okay why is reputation so vital to a business it's because consumers look up an average of 10 reviews before making a buying decision 70 percent of customers trust a business with a minimum of six to ten reviews that's not me saying this this is demand force okay without ten five-star reviews your business simply isn't trusted So what is reputation marketing? It's positioning yourself as the market leader in front of thousands of buyers with your five-star reputation. Again, we increase your five stars. Okay, so you let's say you have three stars and we move you up because we've put a whole bunch of 10, 10, 10 five-star reviews all in a row and that increases that um, at three. At three percent to a three and a half percent, what it already has been researched and proven is that your business will increase nineteen percent in profitability. So the six-step conversion formula. Okay, so are you positioning yourself as a market leader? Okay, what are you doing to do that? Um, what are you doing online to do that? We know a lot of the car dealership and car industries have been force fed uh, to work with companies that are good at very, very, very good at one thing, and that's collecting your money every month. But as far as changing uh, the actual business and the way business is done and getting you more ups and filtering out the roaches, okay, what are you doing that's uh, positioning yourself as a market leader? What makes you different from everyone else? Okay. Are you doing the exact same thing that they are down the street? Well, you're probably going to get the exact same results you've always been getting. Okay. Reputation marketing and stats kind of just went over all that, didn't we? Do you know what your customers are saying online? Again, if you haven't written down and gone to the Reputation SEO DC rank report, do so. Put your phone number in there and get your report. If you don't get your report, then it's a message to me as a reputation marketing specialist that you don't care about your reputation. And if you don't care about your reputation, why should I? Um, 
so that you'll you'll be able to instantly gain access to your report and really only working with people who want to dominate your competition it's it's just that simple uh, here's our 19 percent again hammer that away you know take your 2012 numbers and then add 19 percent to that and that's what we're that's the value of what we're talking about so how do you create a five-star uh, reputation marketing strategy let's go over the strategy and how we do that um, this is the perfect reputation marketing strategy all right what we do is we start here on the left on the top left uh, we build the reputation we get the reviews and we'll show you how we do that but we create for you a simple review site and there's nothing really simple about it um, each review site can handle up to 15 locations so if you're a you know, mid-sized to larger business and you're in many cities we can get you out into those many cities with just a couple of different uh, reviews review pages we'll go over all that okay reputation marketing strategy do you know your reputation online and again at the bottom is the website address and if you haven't gotten your your review um, report yet uh, get it um, it was funny because we had someone that was arguing with us saying that ah, those reports don't they're, they're not real and so the question was you know what, what make, make you say that and like well I'm on super pages and I'm also on, on luck.com and you guys are saying that I'm not well it's not that um, you're not there the fact of the matter is that you're not there with the right information okay everything like I told you bounces off of Google so go to your Google Plus or Google Places for your business and make sure that every piece of information that you have there um, is the same on local.com or superpages.com or else it won't recognize you. So if you're paying for those services, that's even worse. So there's a little tidbit of a few thousand dollar <laughs> information in your pocket in case you didn't know what makes it worth it to look up your report. All right, let's look at four types of, of reputations. There's the bad reputation. There's no reputation, which is kind of funny. I don't have any uh, reviews, so I don't need any reviews. So what's not bad for my business? Because I don't have any bad reviews. No, you just don't have anybody that trusts you. And so they're going to your competition that does have reviews. Do you have, you know, a lot of times companies are like, hey, I have a good reputation. We're looking for people that want that five-star reputation, make them stand head and shoulders above their co competitors. So, moving on over to the little green portion there, the marketing reputation, the market reputation. What, we'll, what we're doing is we're taking the reviews. Um, we're immediately responding to however they answer. Whether it's a bad review, we'll say, sorry about that. And you'll see that. If it's a good review, they say, thank you so much. Um, can you share it on some other um, review sites? That would be great. We can even even offer them to fill out a survey in order for them to get a discount or coupon, something like that. Um, but the five star reviews, those are, are then put into a queue, and they can be sent out every day, or they can be sent out every other day, so it's not overkill. But they pop up on places like Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Flickr, Photo Bucket, um, and I know we're adding Pinterest soon because that's a big, huge one. Um, so then we move on and after we do that we have our marketing strategy we develop the five-star reputation uh, we want to market that reputation then we're gonna manage that reputation there's where management comes in and then we're gonna create a reputation marketing culture all right so the strategy in developing your five-star reputation you could use because we've got this um it's a two thousand um, dollar media center it's absolutely incredible you can take any picture you want whether it's uh, you know uh, the logo name of the company name of the product that you have and then um, you know just saying enter to win you can do a competition kind of campaign a contest campaign you could do um, you know just asking them hey thank you for your business could you could you give us a review we really appreciate it and on the other side of it it's got the QR code so someone can scan it right there and then um, it's brilliant for you know when someone's sitting there waiting for their oil change and they're hey would you mind writing us a review while you're sitting there sure before I start playing games on my phone I'll write you guys a review click you know very friendly service um, you know whatever they want to put 
good or bad, it doesn't matter. You just want to build those reviews. Business cards is another one. Stickers are another one. Table tents, email templates. Um, we'll get into showing you all that. There's the review site itself. Um, again, it's customized up top, so it looks, you know, again, it could be the, the building, it could be the logo, it could be whatever. On the right-hand side, you see all the five-star reviews they've already got, which kind of entices stuff to write a five-star review. So we do daily monitoring of Google. The, the Google reports, that don't, the alerts, rather, they don't work. Okay, not for this. So we have to do the daily monitoring and get you the information when they come, <clears throat> when the reviews come in. Uh, so we send you all that. We do bi-weekly reporting. Um, we have daily review alerts. Like I say, negative or positive go to either the owner or they can go to a GM or they can go to whoever they whoever you need them to go to as well. They'll go. Um, it's location-based reporting. So each location is unique. Uh, so it's like Joe X Ford in Alexandria also has Joe X Honda out in Chantilly and then Joe X uh, Chevy out in Waldorf, Maryland. You know, it, each one is unique, but it can go under the umbrella of Joe X. So this thing is cyclical. It always will continue to collect and grow your reviews. Then it will be able to post those reviews, which can't be done by an individual. Okay, you might have five star reviews on you, but you cannot post those to review sites and here's the thing it knows your IP address so what it does is it just bounces those out so um, we manage by marketing only the five-star reviews uh, the four-star reviews they're fine but we, we want to focus on getting you a five-star review and, and getting as many of those because when I read my tenth five-star review I'm like okay I'm gonna that's enough I don't need to read anymore I'm going to buy from them uh, video review marketing that's available on the review sites as well which is a new feature um, which is really cool because you can put a video testimonial on a blog okay website marketing um, again we put the reviews up there social media marketing uh, the maps we put those on the maps we can do email marketing you know we put the links out there so people can see it sales marketing if you want to do postcards and stuff like that uh, they work okay um, as I said before, businesses can't post reviews from uh, other customers. It's just kind of like a, um, they don't want people uh, or companies self-aggrandizing themselves, I guess. Uh, they want to see that it came from an actual person. So we've got that covered. Um, review sites have the algorithms and filters that delete all reviews that are posted from the same computer IP network. So it's like, okay, well, that computer's all burned out. Let's go across the street to our other office and send some more good reviews. It's not going to work like that. Um, so we have a proprietary system and a process that can post the reviews for a company without being filtered or deleted. That's big. Um, reputation marketing. Marketing your five-star reputation. Looks like I got this one in here twice for some weird reason. All right, so. It looks like I've got this one in here twice. Ah, it's good to see it again. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to our image here. So we manage the reputation. We're going to monitor and engage with your customers. Um, not just like from Facebook, um, but also their friends from Facebook. The friends will see that they that you gave uh, a specific company a five star review. Those type of things. It starts it starts to spread. Um, reputation marketing strategy. Create a reputation marketing culture. Uh, the way we want to do that is that you expect your staff to give first class service, right? I mean wouldn't be working for you otherwise so what's your plan to inspire your staff to give first-class service to your customers and getting those raving reviews you can plan a personalized reputation marketing center okay so that's the last one the little blue one on the left bottom left create a culture we want to educate and inspire um, your your employees to really want to go out give them someone's you know, incentive to want to go out and uh, and do a, not only a great job but after 
doing a great job people feel confident to say you know if you wouldn't mind I'd really love to get a, rev uh, a review from you and having this system I mean people love this system because they have a voice in the company now um, you know and it's going right whether it's good or bad it goes to the company they know the company that they're writing about um, so your reputation is everything uh, every company needs a strategy and we can put one together for you uh, Simply put, reputation marketing is the most important marketing. And sure, my opinion, but that's who I'm working with. People of the same mindset. So I'll place a branded review page and a training page to help build their culture of employees, getting those five star reviews. Also, access to a, the, the $2,000 Media Center. So, what you're about to see is live, it's, it's kind of like a, a sneak peek. Um, Let's get rid of that and that and move on to the stuff. This page is live as we speak. Uh, at the very top is customized. Uh, we're working on talking to Marriott right now. Um, but we did so by using our business. Okay, that should be our logo up top. We put Marriott up there because they wanted to play around with it a little bit. But on the right-hand side, you see all of our reviews, our five-star reviews. They're all lined up on the right. Someone would put in their full name, their email address, the little uh, click-down button for how many stars they want to give us. They write their review uh, for a location where it says Alexandria, Virginia. You can click on that. If we had 10 different locations, 15 different locations, we could do it all off of this one uh, review page. Okay, and then underneath is just, um, you know, that I'm authorizing to post testimonies anywhere online. It, it basically just wants to validate that the person that's writing this is the per the actual person. So we just have, you know, terms of service that they'll agree to do that. Reputation marketing, developing five-star reputation. Again, we kind of go back to this and what these are, the templates, the business cards, all that stuff. That's done through um, through the media center. And this is the media center. And this is the one we did for car repair. Um, and again, it's just an example. But as you can see on the left, um, you can make um, business card, like business review cards. I'll show you what that looks like. I mean, um, table tents. You know, you scatter them all around the the everybody gets one on their desk every car gets one um, you get the idea uh, flyers postcards stickers uh, window clings okay counter cards rack cards bookmarks emails you can see what all those look like and they're all designed specific for each individual location there's one one looks like there that's for the postcard example um, you know but the top you can put anything you want this one happens to say review us online we appreciate your opinion it has the the picture of the um that was chosen for the media for the car repair uh, then underneath it you know again you can put in your own text um uh, you know thank you for your business on the right hand side yeah i think you can change the color code and all that um but it pretty much stays the same where it says you know two easy options scan this for the review and that immediately goes you know, back to the review page. So if they're sitting there with their iPod or, or their phone, they can scan that and they'll go right straight to the uh, review page. Also on the bottom, say they're on the laptop, it gives you a, um, a URL so that they can type that into their browser and again go right to that review page. Um, so for these type of things, what you can do is download them onto your computer and there's, um, there's two other companies, uh, Next Day Flyers and U Printing. Both of those companies have all of these options um, and good prices. Uh, there's some other ones out there that they don't offer all these uh, different, different options. So that's the only basis that we went on and go with these two companies. Um, but I mean, by tomorrow, if you wanted to, you could have these things all over the uh, all over the the car dealership, and people get, begin immediately getting reviews. Um, and the other one is the people. Okay, your staff. And that's what this is. So your receptionist says, hey, Mr. Larkin, I saw you took a uh, test drive today. Yeah, yeah, I did a little video. The, uh, the, the, the salesman I was working with, Joe, yeah, he had uh, videotaped me on his iPhone as we were driving around. It's a pretty cool experience. Oh, great, great. Hey, um, well, you're not buying anything today? No, I'm not buying anything today. Oh, well, well, since your experience was good, I have an iPad here. Would you mind putting in a review for us real quick? 
Sure, I wouldn't mind that at all. There's a five star review. Boom. All right, but it's getting that receptionist to get to the point where they're able to and feel confident enough to ask the customers if they'll give them a review. So this is the Reputation Marketing Training Center. Um, and again, we're, we're showing this off to Mark, uh, Marriott, so the time of this video. Um, but it's real simple. It's someone would put in their first name, last name, one of the employees, they put in their email, and then the position they are with the company, whether they're staff, whether they're management, general management, um, whether they're ownership. There's a 40-minute training, like the videos are broken down, and then there's a 10-question quiz, and you have to get 8 out of 10 to pass. And that can go, those results both go to the individual and to the manager. So the manager can keep track of the employees to see if they're getting trained properly. But we do all the training. So this is what we do. We personally train your staff. We develop your strategy to get reviews from your customers. Uh, we build your five-star reputation every day. We monitor the top review sites each day. We send you detailed alerts. Again, the new reviews that come in. They either go to an owner, they can go to a general manager, whoever. Um, every two weeks, we create a review report. Um, we respond to bad reviews immediately, as well as good reviews. Uh, we post the reviews to your website, your blog, your other sites, other properties. Um, your, your daily posts, or they could be every other day posts of your five stars. They go to, to Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, you know, social sites. Um, also, too, we create a review image, and we post those to Flickr, Facebook, and again, Pinterest is coming. Uh, we've just gone over the $2,000 Reputation Media Center. So if you were to hire someone that could implement this immediately and knew what they were doing and could do all of this, what would that cost per month? All right, so after the five-star reputation is up and running and you're experiencing the double-digit increases month to month, uh, we don't need to stop there. Um, we want to continue to help you dominate and get to that place. So we're going to continue to analyze the online market for what people are searching for that's related to cars, car buying. Uh, we're going to optimize the site for those keywords. We'll improve your conversion rate of the site. We'll, um, we'll work on getting it uh, visible on Google, Yahoo, MSN, Bing, all that. The local directories, we want to make sure that you're there. Getting related links, getting ranked for those keywords. We're doing with video, even if they're your videos, like I described in my example. Um, articles, press releases that get ranked, Web 2.0 blogs, classifieds, track your webs well, your website stats. And in this case, we do monthly instead of bi-weekly reporting. So there's a kind of a bright example, one of our little spreadsheets, um, just to give you an idea, like the economy program, uh, typically it's reputation marketing first, and I will not work with anybody that does not do that. Um, however, I have considered and will con still consider if um, going forward with the Wi-Fi program is um, is beneficial okay and, and I can describe that to you but it's a it's a way to get free you know, it's a way for you get something back for free Wi-Fi if you're offering it uh, we can go to basic plan okay so that would be three different options we could go with a value plan which would be four different options or the preferred plan and that would be the SEO, the social, the rep reputation marketing, the SMS, the mobile sites, all that stuff. Um, and again, the Wi-Fi and the press releases, those are two separate items altogether. Um, those are two of the most powerful things that we've got our hands on. So, like I say, it's where we talk individually to folks. So, let's put together a strategic proposal. Okay, to build that five-star reputation and market that reputation to get more customers. When you can see we met, so, well, when when can we meet? 
<laughs> oh my god when can we meet so we can show you the personalized reputation marketing proposal um there's our phone number there seven uh five seven one two six nine six three two eight there's our skype which is michael j period larkin all lowercase uh there is the reputation marketing report i hope to see you there first so that our first contact is talking about the report um and finding out what's going to work best for you guys it's um it's just a great place to start um so i want to thank you very much for your time and appreciate it um if there's any questions that you have that's our number there uh you can get in touch with us through that uh that website there and um like i say that that website is free of charge for the time being uh it has a 197 dollar value again for the car industry folks it is free for now so again i want to thank you very much again my name is michael j larkin president of local partnership joint market solutions and my little sign off live with passion and if you were watching this on your ipad or your iphone or other mobile device thanks for the ride <laughs>